Hi everyone, so the target here is to develop a mobile uh, Fiora UX app in less than five minutes using the Neptune UX platform and we're going to do it by starting by creating an app class to provide the data to the app. So we'll start by implementing an interface from Neptune, which is this one, which will bring these methods that will be your bridge be between the backend and the frontend. So let's start creating some attributes to our class in order to fill with data. These attributes need to be public in order to be visible in the app. And we're going to create a type of uh, type table of the table T005, which has all the countries existing in a CMP implementation. So let's activate this and let's go over to the methods, to the Ajax method. And what I'm evaluating here is the parameter called Ajax ID. This will be what I will add to the designer in order to call this specific ABAP code. So let's call it get L, get uh, land, and we just make a select here. You can use a standard um, function module, class, etc., or just your ABAP, regular ABAP code to fetch data. It's up to you. So it's active, active now, so let's go over to build the actual app. So we open the Neptune Application Designer, create an app, and it will pop up a transport request because this is the way uh, Neptune apps are built. They are transported through the ACP transport system. So we pick our libraries, our version of the ACP UI5, and our theme. Give it some description and go straight to the designer, activate and right click and here you can use the code snippets from Neptune. I'm going to use the app one and go straight. This will dump a few pages and some components directly to you to start using. So I'm drag and dropping here a table component from the acp.m library and I'm going to bind it to my backend data. How do you do that? You do that very simply by click on model source, click on Dior, uh, your class public attribute IT005 is created and you call the Ajax get L, remember that one. So set initial load to online so that it calls the um, it calls the right uh, code and then we use the wizard on the table to fetch the fields that you want to show on this table. So you pick the fields you want to display on this table and you click on OK and the fields are done there. So activate and let's click on run to see and there you go. It's already fetching data from the backend. So let's quickly now publish this to a desktop and to a mobile device. You do that by using the Neptune application management. You start by creating a tile and on the tile you give it a name to for your own reference and a description. Now we're gonna pick an icon and this icon will be the one that you actually will see inside the launch pad. So let's look for a flag. There you go. And what you need now to do is to give it a title. And this is what the user will actually see. All of this is translatable, of course. And on the header, you just put it count, countries, and on the subheader in SAP. And on the action, what will this tile do? In this case, it will call a Neptune app. It can call also a Fiori app as you like. So let's call the app that we just created, the app underscore land, and the tile is generated. So now let's create a launch pad. So the Neptune application management allows you to create a launch pad by reference of already an existing one. This will actually save you quite a few time. So let's give it a name and use another one as a template and save and there you go it's already created demo video land. So if I just select this one and click on uh, run I can see that it's uh, working it's asking for a logon so it's onboarding ACP and there is no tiles uh, because I haven't added any. So if I go to tile and add tile I can just look for the tile that I've just added and there it is, select and that it is. You can add as many apps, as many tiles as you like. So if I click on run now, I'll be able to see on the desktop, on the browser, 
I will be able to see my launchpad with my tile and if I click on the app on the tile it will open the app and execute the code and fetch the data from the app app. So now that's published to the Neptune client. What this will do is actually will publish to the Neptune client that you can download from your given app store being Android, iOS or Windows and with that you just add a policy and on this policy you can add uh, your domain of your email account and you're gonna know for now so I'm gonna now show you this is a reflector of my own iPhone so when you download you have the option to log in or demo mode so let's use the option login you enter your email account and why is this important you're gonna get an access code so if I just add here my uh, email that corresponds to the policy that I entered on my published uh, launchpad I'll get a pin code on my email which I speed it up here and I put it up the what I just got on my email um, and this is automatic and then I can see all the launch pads that I have access to and I clicked on the one that's called demo video so now I log in to SAP using my user and password and there it is my tile and my data